Hey, x Chicken Soup here. Today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make a seamless Instagram collage. Before we begin, allow me to show you guys a few accounts that beautifully embrace this unique style of design. Presenting the seamless Instagram feed. Every post fits together like blocks of a Tetris game, like a lifelong row leading us from one beautiful moment to the next. Everything is interconnected. You can make something like this using a computer and Photoshop. The rules are the same, but the fun comes with these three tools an iPad, an Apple Pen, and Procreate, which is a powerful digital illustration app that costs a one-time payment of $10 on the App Store. It is designed exclusively for the iPad and it is one of my favorite apps of all time. Here are the shortcuts that will save you tons of time during the editing process. You can draw a straight line simply by making two dots. You can also erase a selection simply by scrubbing on the screen using three fingers. Undo by tapping on the screen with two fingers. Redo by tapping on the screen with three fingers. You can nudge a selection by tapping on the screen. Every tap will move the layer by one pixel. Now let's dive in. The first step in creating a seamless Instagram feed is to construct a grid big enough for us to lay out the photos. Let's take a look at Instagram. There are three columns made up of equal size squares. The dimensions of each square is 1080 times 1080 pixels. With that knowledge in mind, let's launch Procreate. Tap the plus icon to create a new canvas. Set the width and height to 4320 pixels, which is essentially equal to 1080 times four. I know, math. And here is our canvas. Let's disable the white background. The next step is to divide this canvas into equal squares. Select settings, turn on drawing guide, and edit drawing guide. Change the grid size to 1080. And there we have it, a big canvas that perfectly fits 16 Instagram squares. You might be wondering why we have four columns instead of three. This extra column is necessary to connect the first and the third column. You will be able to visualize it as we start putting the pieces together. Let's make some magic. Import our first photo. We're going to leave the fourth column alone for now. Let's add another photo. Every time we import a photo, a new layer will be added. We can control these layers by tapping on the icon with the two squares. If I lower the opacity of this layer, I can see the one below it. This will allow me to properly position the photo and cut out the appropriate parts. Which brings us to the masking tool. Select the S line icon. The toolbox below provides us with different options for masking which you can experiment with, but the one I use the most often is the freehand masking tool. Now let's trace along the pixels. It is basically like drawing. And we will erase this selection. Now let's add another photo and do the same thing. Now that we have finally approached the first column, let me show you guys how we can connect the third column and the first column. Go in setting, copy canvas, then paste. We just copy the entire freaking canvas. Move the new layer on top and drag it onto the fourth column. 
Here is an important rule to remember. We have to always make sure the edges perfectly align with the grid. Here, we can see that our layer is off by a few pixels. Let's nudge it to the right by tapping at the direction you want the layer to move. Every tap we nudge the layer by one pixel. And perfect. Let's bring in the same photo again. Lower the opacity and position it right on top of the photo below. Once again, we must make sure they fit right on top of each other. This is how we can check. Raise the opacity, disable the layer. Notice how it shifted a little bit. Let's nudge until it no longer moves. Perfect. Let's merge our two layers and continue. A challenge I always face while editing is not knowing what part of the layer to mask out. Even after two years of doing this, I still have to experiment with a lot of trials and errors. And that's basically what this entire process is. Trials and errors until you like what you see. Like everything else in life, proficiency comes with consistent practicing. Over time, your eyes would develop a better sense of perspective and you will start noticing an ability to visualize abstract shapes and combination. It's pretty cool. My advice is don't feel discouraged if you find this challenging at first. Play some nice music in the background. I recommend Taylor Swift and have fun with it. I love the iPad and Procreate combination because it allows me to easily navigate and control my canvas. There are tons of features on Procreate that will allow you to advance your seamless feed to new level, as if the basics isn't already crazy enough. I can't wait to share with you guys other tutorials where I would dive into these advanced techniques. We are now approaching the top of the canvas. I will teach you guys how to make space for new posts. First, let's save our canvas. Notice the bottom row right here. Let's merge all of them. Then use the masking tool, follow the guide, and crop the entire row out. Next, select all of these layers by swiping right on each and drag the entire thing down. Remember, make sure the edge perfectly aligns with the grid. And there it is. I use the app Grid Post to crop out my creation. You can find it on the App Store and it is very easy to use. And we are done. I can't wait to see what you guys can come up with using this tutorial. Remember, don't be discouraged if you are struggling. When I was doing this for the first time, I was, yeah, it was so hard. And it actually took me months to finally get a hang of it. But I am confident that with this tutorial, you get it just like that. 
And of course, I will be making a lot more videos showing more advanced techniques. I'm going to show you guys how to export in vertical. I'm going to show you guys how to animate your seamless Instagram collage. So stay tuned and see you next time.